Hello beautiful ladies and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how three different curling wands create three different curls. So I bought a curling wand a few years ago and this was my first foray into kind of using hair tools and trying different things to get my hair to look different ways. And the first one that I started with, hold on, let me grab it, was this guy. And this guy has a tapered end this direction. And I never really knew that there were other types of curling wands that you could use. So I thought that this was really the only way that your hair was going to look if you used a curling wand. And then in the last year or so, I've started doing more research on how to curl my hair. And then I discovered this. This curling wand actually goes the other direction, as you can see here. It tapers this way, and that creates a totally different kind of curl. But I still wanted to get more of just a straight beachy wave and not have more volume up top or more volume on the bottom and just have it be even throughout. So I went to Target and I picked up this guy. And this is just totally straight, doesn't taper in either direction and creates just a one inch curl all the way around. But it's more beachy because it's with a curling wand. So what I thought I would do today for you guys is show you what these three wands will do for your hair. Now I'm not gonna do my whole head, but what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll do three small sections and kind of compare how those curls look. Now one thing you should know is that when you're working with brunette hair, it doesn't show up as well as when you're using blonde hair to display on camera. So I'll do my best to give you guys the best look, but keep in mind that it's not gonna be as easy for you to see as if I had blonde hair. Of course, I'm never gonna go blonde given that I have black eyebrows. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm just going to grab my heat protectant. I'm gonna put that in. And now I'm going to put my hairspray in before I curl my hair. And then I'm just gonna brush it out just to give my hair a little bit of extra hold. So we're going to start off with your typical tapered wand. This is the Con Air U Curl and I'm going to set this at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And I am personally one who always favors safety, so I'm going to use the curling wand glove that it comes with that protects your hand from the heat. I'm just gonna use small sections. This is heated up, so I'm just going to curl this away from my face. Hold for a couple of seconds. And release. Okay, so you can see right away, it's a little bit more tapered at the bottom and it's got a little bit more looseness up near the top of the piece of hair. Now I'm going to take the bed head upside down tapered wand. This one doesn't have any settings as far as temperature, so I don't know exactly how hot this is getting, which is not a great thing for your hair. It's inexpensive, but if you don't know exactly how hot this is gonna get, it might not work for you if you need it to be hotter or it may be too hot for your hair. Just keep that in mind. So now I just used this wand, wrapped my hair away from my face the same exact way as I did with the first piece and we're just gonna see how it compares. Okay, so you can see here, it's, it's like not a huge difference when it's just one piece of hair. I think it would make a very big difference if it's your whole head, but it's much tighter near the top and looser near the bottom. So you can see this one is looser at the top and tighter at the bottom. Now let's try just even all the way. Next up, we've got this Remington one inch curling wand and I'm just gonna turn this on and I'm gonna set it to 360 like I did with the other two. I'm just gonna let that heat up. And now we're just gonna do the same thing. You can definitely see a difference with this one because the coil is looser all the way down. These two, this one gets tighter as it goes down, this one gets looser as it goes down, and this one is just loose all the way. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can take a look at this up close. Now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my whole head and let's see if you can guess which one of these I've used. So I finished curling my hair and I'm wondering which curling wand you think that I use. If you guessed this one, then you are correct. So I curled my hair like this, so you get this tapered look. The curls are a little bit tighter on the bottom and looser on the top, but they're very tight 
and you can see that they're going to fall over the next couple of days. It's a lot more voluminous than my hair is normally, but that's why I decided to go with this other kind of wand that was just not tapered at all because I just wanted a uniform curl, whereas this creates volume in a way that I think is very particular and not always what I'm looking for. So I know that was a pretty quick video, but I really wanted to show you guys just what these three wands will do for you and what you can accomplish with them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and follow me there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.